truth of Krishna, to pay respect to the Buddha. Namo Kutasa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Kutasa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa Namo Kutasa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasa May Tripajan bless you all. Today, we will continue our Dhamma talk in Mahasatipattana Sutta. We are still in the Uddesavara in the commentary, Attakata. And uh, before that commentary, we just remind what the Desana part or the main, main Sutta, what Buddha, what Bhagavad said to the main Sutta. Ekayano am dekwe mago satana visudia soka paridevana samatika maya Dukadomana sana natanga maya nyaya sa adiga maya nipana sa sachikiriaya yadidan chataro satipatana. So this is the first thing. Katame chataro. What is the meaning? You know the meaning. This is the, this is the one and only path uh, for the realization of nibbana. Uh, Nibbana and uh, you know the other uh, others uh, six type of benefits for the realization of Nibbana so on other six type of benefits and Katame Chattaro the Vikavi Bikku Kaye Kaya Nupasti Vihrati Atha Sampajano Satima Vinigiloke Abhicca Domanasan now we are here uh, but uh, at the uh, last part of the that we are here in Dutteswara and uh, Vedana so Vedana Nupasi Vihirati Atapi Sampajano Satima Vinaya Loki Abhicha Domanasan and Chitte Chitta Nupasi Vihirati Atapi Sampajano Satima Vinaya Loki Abhicha Domanasan Dhamme Dhamme so Dhamma Nupasi Vihirati Atapi Sampajano Satima Vinaya Loki Abhicha Domanasan this is the Uddeswara uh, has been given by the Buddha and uh, on this is the Uddesavara mean giving the main keeping the main topics to the Mahasatipatthana Sutta. Okay, now uh, what is the you know Kathame uh, Chattaro mean Buddha explained four fold mindfulness, uh, four fold foundation of the mindfulness. So Kathame Chattaro, those are the four fold mindfulness. That means uh, Bhikkhu abides uh, contemplating the ultimate bodily object as a body and Bhikkhu abides uh, as a body by overcoming the covetousness and grief and again uh, but uh, covetousness and grief and Atapi uh, Sampajano Satima having uh, ardent and uh, uh, comp clear comprehension and mindfulness so the, the, uh, these are the good factors ardent comprehension and the mindfulness are the good factor and you know the other uh, co uh, overcoming covetousness and the grief are the the, the hindrances uh, buddha mentioned two hindrances only here but you need to you need to overcome all five hindrances while practicing uh, and then uh, today you are going to vedana nupassana chitta nupassana dhamma nupassana also so uh, this is the way to this is the way that buddha explained uddesavara here now we just turn into the attakata sorry it says in this way Aparo, now we actually finish uh, uh, last day we finish uh, what is the yoga yoga and bhava of the meditator what is the yoga and bhava of the meditator that we finish and we just forget about we just uh, we don't have time uh, to discuss at, at that time we didn't have a time to discuss what is the yoga samat uh, go to the uh, uh, you go uh, uh, the up uh, the, the para up paragraph just up uh, Yes, Bhantiji, it is the top paragraph. Hmm. 
to the body okay uh, at the end of the above above para you have yoga samatha yoga samatha yoga samatto hoti so uh, uh, we want to discuss that thing also what is yoga samatha yoga samatha means the skill set of the meditator or the dexterity of the meditator uh, what is that that means you have compliance towards your body that means you have compliance or desire towards the bodily happiness and you have again you have uh, the opposition uh, to the towards the bodily misery so in this case you need to uh, freedom you need to get freedom from both so therefore this is one yoga samatha how to how to do that uh, i explained last day how to do that that mean you need to you need to practice your seela uh, that mean you need to maintain your seela and then you need to uh, grow your samadhi or the concentration that is the chitta visuddhi and then you need to practice uh, you need to con- uh, you need to uh, find out your five aggregates what is your five aggregate rupa khand or the materiality aggregates and you are nama uh, four nama khand nama khand mean the four mentality aggregates vedana sanya sankara and vijnana feeling aggregates and uh, perception aggregate and you have formation aggregate and the consciousness aggregate so if you finish these aggregates and then you need to find out what is the cause of these aggregates because these are these these aggregates are the dukkha sacha because you, you, uh, the, uh, this is the suffering body so you need to uh, find out what are the causes so you need to go to see your past lives many past lives you can see through the jhana light to the samatha yana vipassaka or to the suddha vipassaka you need to practice directly uh, chaturdhatu vavatthana meditation or the four element meditation Uh, through the upachara concentration of this uh, meditation because this meditation uh, it doesn't attain jhana state so therefore it attains the highest uh, concentration that is the upachara concentration or access concentration through this access concentration you can see your past life uh, to the uh, suddha vipassaka uh, and then only you can do vipassana before that also you need to you need to practice four devices Uh, like lakkana di chatukka and then only you can uh, you are suitable to practice vipassana and while practicing in this way uh, you need to you 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 have compliance towards the body and you have uh, opposition towards the uh, to the you have compliance towards the, the happy happily body happiness of the body and you have uh, opposition towards the a um, misery of the body now you you need to get freedom from all both of them otherwise you cannot enter into nibbana so this is one skill one skill set of the meditator and uh, the other one is uh, non non delighting in the body and but he should delight in development of the bodily com- contemplation instead that that is also we discuss in this way uh, the, the last day and the, the third one is not putting in whatever unreal and uh, the other thing not turn away whatever real so what is that if you would do if you want and uh, ultimately while practicing who who is correcting your a final mistake who is uh, giving a uh, uh, feedback to you and i highly recommend uh, uh, the, again uh, you, you, uh, you you need to understand that uh, my teacher is uh, uh, the counterfeit teacher or the fake meditation teacher or the real meditation teacher because if my teacher is a counterfeit teacher he uh, he messed up with the desana pali and natakata because the teacher is giving an real to the uh, dhamma or or the path uh, you know it know this
your teacher. So uh, that is also one skill. And uh, I highly recommend that uh, you need to uh, you need to work one on one with a good teacher, good sincere teacher. And not, uh, actually, nothing is better than that. So you uh, you need to deeply think think on this when, whenever you learn dhamma as well as whenever you you practice this dhamma up to nirvana so uh, this is very important so therefore this is also a skill set of the meditator or dexterity of the meditator okay <clears throat> then we go to aparunayo and aparunayo What is the meaning? Aparonayo. Aparonayo means another is uh, in the in this passage. You know, there there, uh, there is a, uh, a phrase kaye kayanu passi. Now still we are in kaye kayanu passi. Kaye kayanu passi. Kaye kayanu passi. The the other uh, another way. Uh, to interpret the passage of kaya kayanu pasi so on in this way etta utta viharena kammantani kassa kaya pariharana etta utta viharena kammantani kassa kaya pariharana ata piti adi supana ata pena sampadana samapadana Itta Buddha Viharena. That means the uh, the contemplation or the uh, Anupasanaya Kamatthana Buddha. Okay. Itta Anupasanaya Kamatthana Buddha. You go to that. Itta Anupasanaya Kamatthana Buddha. Anupas Anupasanaya means you know the contemplation of the body as a body. That is what is called Anupasana or Vipassana. Okay. Then th that refers to the meditation subject. That is the kamatthana, anupasanaya kamatthana vuttan. So that refers to the meditation subject, meditation subject. That is the kamatthana. And etta buddha viharena kamatthana kasa kaya pariharana. That means the buddha viharena means viharati, viharati, oh, viharati, that means abides, abides refers to the keeping on the uh, uh, in, with regards to the atapi so on other meaning in this way atapena sampadana atapi refers to the uh, samapadana to the right exertion that is the Samapadana, you know, right exertion. Samapadana means you have four types of Samapadana. The first one is the if the effort which enables not to arise the defilement already unarisen. And the second one is the, the effort which enables to cut the defilement which are already arisen. And the fourth one, the third one, the effort which strives to generate the wholesome deeds which are not already arisen. And the last one is the, the effort of the meditator which strives to accrue the wholesome deeds which are already arisen. So those are the Samapadana Virya. So Atapi means, you know, the Virya, right exertion. And then Sati Sampajanena Sabbataka Kammatana. Now, uh, another way, this is the another way of description, right? Sati Sampajanna. What is Sati? Sati is the mindfulness. Sampajanya is the uh, clear comprehension. So th those are refers to the four protective meditation. Sabbataka Kammatthana. Uh, Sabbataka Kammatthana means you have two Kammatthana. One, the first one is uh, Pariharya Kammatthana. The other one is Sabbataka Kammatthana. What is Pariharya Kammatthana? It has not mentioned here. Uh, yeah, it has been not mentioned here. Uh, Pariharya Kammatthana means whatever the meditation subject uh, that, that you currently practice. That is the Pariharya Kammatthana. And this Sabbathaka Kammatthana means you have four protective meditation. What, what are that? Metta meditation, 
Buddha Nusati meditation, and you have Asubha meditation and Marana Nusati meditation. Those are the four types of uh, protective meditation. So therefore, they, they are called Sabbathaka Kammatthana. This Sati Sampajana refers to the Sabbathaka Kammatthana. That is, this is metaphorically says, metaphorically only this says, uh, how, what is, how, how, uh, that, that means the fourth protective meditation. If you develop for protective meditation, it's very clear, actually it's very easy to maintain your mindfulness towards the current bodily objects. Why? Because they gives the protection to the meditator. For example, whenever you, you, you practice meditation, if you are, if you develop some hatred towards the uh, uh, hatred, if you develop uh, hatred or bhyapad uh, surround you, then you need to pay metta meditation. And then if you don't have, if, if your sadha is uh, getting low, if your sadha is abating, so then uh, you can do the metta, Buddha Nusati or the recollection of the Buddha, Buddha, uh, to 10 minutes or five minutes like that uh, you can meditate uh, on the buddha's qualities so uh, if you have lustful mind you can do the asubha meditation for a while and if you have no uh, no fear to the death then you can uh, do the merit uh, or you you have no fear to the death and uh, uh, you have therefore you don't have any sang vega uh, the uh, sense of urgency. So in that in that case also, you can meditate on the marana nusati. You will take get collection uh, collection of your death. So that. That's the. Here not, but uh, we need to take uh, uh, above with them here also. So uh, that now, now you know, uh, and again, Sabbataka Kamatana Kamatana Pariharanu Payova Satyava Kayanu Pasana Vasena Patlada Samato. Okay, uh, then again, have this description again. All the mindfulness and clear, clear, uh, clear, uh, clear comprehension refers to the expedient way. Expedient way means upaya uh, uh, kamatana pariharana upaya. Pariharana upaya. Kamatana pariharana upaya. That means the expedient way to keep up the meditation subject without breaking the breaking your practice that's the that's the meaning here and because uh, and they, uh, you know then satya uh, why because you know mindfulness remembers the object and clear comprehension or the wisdom faculty actually clear comprehension means the here wisdom faculty so then uh, this wisdom faculty or the clear comprehension penetrates the object as it is, as it really is mindfulness remembers and wisdom faculty penetrates the object. So uh, you need to understand in this way. Kamatana pariharanu payova satyava kayanupasana vasena patiladda samadhu. That thing we discussed. And sampajanena vipassana. Okay. And then satyava kayanupasana vasena patiladda samadhu. Oh, it mentioned mindfulness refers to the uh, satyava kayanupasana vasena you know kayanupasana you have uh, some anapana pub or the anapana section and you have um, again iriyapata section and you have sampajanya section and you have 32 parts uh, or the dattin sakara and again you have volumen meditation and you have uh, nine types of channel grounds so uh, kayanupa satya that means the mindfulness is a kaya, mindfulness refers to the kayanupasana vasena patladda samato. So that is the patladda samato means that is the tranquility meditation, samatha meditation. So mindfulness refers to the tranquility meditation 
by means of the bodily object kayana passana vasena and sampajanyena vipassana sampajanyena vipassana vuttang so sampajanya mean vipassana or oh, sampajanya refers to the vipassana why sampajanya uh, is the panya so th therefore you need uh, panya to understand your object or to penetrate your object and then uh, Abhijja domana, sorry, uh, Abhijja domana sa vinaye na bahavana balam guttanti veli tabbang. So Abhijja vinaya refers to the bahavana bala. Bahavana bala mean, you know, Abhijja, Abhijja mean the, by overcoming the covetousness and the grief, abid, uh, covetousness and grief refers to the power of the meditation. Power of the meditation. So the bahavana bala, we discuss uh, what is the power of the meditation. That means, he need to know he need, he need to practice um, jhana or uh, four element meditation uh, and then he need to go uh, as the as what what path buddha said in this way that is the bhavana bala and uh, uh, so this description also finished and then we go to vibhange pana anupassati ti tattakatama anupassana and then uh, they uh, then the atagata turns into vibhanga what is vibhanga vibhanga is the abhidham second book abhidham first book is the dhammasangani and then the vibhanga is the second book third book is the pugalapanyati fourth book is the dhatukata like up to pattana you have seven book so these seven bo book book uh, buddha mentioned meditation advice also and then uh, uh, wa, uh, let's say what Vibhanga says. Let's say what Vibhanga says. Then Vibhanga pana anupassi. Now kaye kaya anupassi mean ka, kaye anupassi. Be, become kaya anupassi. So therefore, uh, what is anupassi? What is anupassi? Anupassi tiyetta katama anupassana. So what is anupassana? Katama anupassana mean what is anupassana? Ya panya pajanata. Vichyo, Pavichyo, Dhamma Vichyo, Salakkana, Upalakkana, Pachupalakkana, Pandichang, Kosalang, Nepunyang, Vebhavya, Chinta, Upaparikha, Bhurimeda, Parinayaka, Vipassana, Sampajanyang, Patodo, Panya, Panyindriyam, Panyabalam, Panyasattam, Panyapasado, Panyaloko, Panyobhaso, Panyopajyoto, Panya Ratanang, Amomo, Dhamma Vichyo, Samma Duditi, I am Uchati Anupasana. So um, actually, these all words are uh, related to the uh, Panya, or oh, we can say this is the wisdom faculty. So, this Anupasana means basically we can say that's the wisdom faculty. Whatever wisdom, that means Ya Panya, whatever wisdom, Pajanata, that means knowledge, and uh, Pajanata, Vichyo, Pavichyo, Dhamma Vichyo, all are three, all three are same meaning inside. And uh, you, if you go to uh, Panya Balamin, what is the uh, the power of the uh, po power of the wisdom? And the Panya Lokamin, if you if you just go to the uh, Vipassana, Vipassana also above we have Vipassana. Vipassana mean uh, Vipassana mean you penetrate the object by contemplating the object as Anicca Dukkhanatha, that is also Panya. Sampajanya means, we did discuss Sampajanya just before. That means Sampajanya means the clear, clear comprehen comprehension. So, and the Panya Loka means the light of wisdom. And like that, up to Amoho Dhamma Vichyo Samma Dithi, that means the Amoho means non-illusion, and the Dhamma Vichyo means the investigation of the object, and uh, what is the Meaning, so the, uh, that is the ayang vichati anupassana. So uh, anupassana, and then go to viharati. Viharati, viharati mean viharati iriyati pavateti paleti yapeti 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 charati.
so that means effort energy exertion striving right way uh, uh, what is it um, i think we lost you right where uh, when you were talking about yapati charati virati ah uh, really okay uh, uh, okay you go to viharati 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 mean iriyati pavatati ya paleti yapati so on again similar words and then that that mean uh, basically we can say abide or we can say dwells or lives like that and then you go to atapi uh, if the sound is li like that please inform me uh, atapi in, in that way atapi ti tatkatamam atapam what is uh, what is the atap yo chetasiko viryarambo nikkamo that mean uh, whatever the whatever the mental factor uh, of effort energy exertion like that chetasiko viryarambo nikkamo parakkamo uyyamo vayamo usaho usalhi all are similar words to the virya so uh, ultimately it mentions samma vayamo right right effort and then you go to sampajano sampajano the uh, black one sampajano tatkatamam uh, sampajanyam you know we discuss sampajan ियरली it sees the object very clearly and it penetrates the object so therefore it it penetrates the object especially the ultimate object so therefore it is what is called sampajana so sampajana and anupassana are the same uh, so therefore tattakatamam sampajanyam it explain ya panya pajanata vichyo pavichyo dhamma vichyo like up to uh, samadhiti that mean we discuss whatever the wisdom knowledge insight na non illusion investigation right uh, right view uh, all are now samma sampajana and then we go satima satima uh, other uh, satima tatkatama sati uh, therein what is sati ya sati anusati patisrati Okay, abhijja domana sang. Again, lost. Yes, lost hmm. at right at satimati. Ah, satimati. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, this country uh, we have very few uh, percentage of uh, what is called the internet. So therefore, that that has happened, and you know uh, they are very fear. we discuss with the what called terrorism and other thing like uh, they are very very alert with the especially such type of meeting okay and then sati uh, sati ma is tatta katama sati what uh, therein what is sati sati is ya sati that mean the mindfulness anusati remembrance and patisati 
that means the heedfulness like thing all are as uh, sati saranata dharanata apilapana asam muna asam musanata sati sati indriyam sati balan samma sati ultimately it it says samma sati samma sati means you know right mindfulness so those are the the uh, so in this way you know you need to understand what is sati so but we discuss sati but uh, uh, this atakata charya uh, again mention buddha mention uh, in the vibhanga uh, vibhanga or the second book of abhidhamma buddha this mention there also so we have more evidence that, uh, that that's why they explain here and then vinaya loke abhijja do manasam what is the vinaya loke abhijja do manasam a phrase and tatta katamo loko sveva kayo loko that mean what is the world sveva uh, kayo loko this very body is the world and pancha to upadana kan so tatta katama abhijja uh abhijja domanas like uh, vinaya loke abhijja domanas some part uh, that is the, that is starting with that uh, that uh, para starting with that thing and tatakatama abhijja uh, therein what is abhijja what is abhijja it says yo rago sarago anunayo anurodo nandi nandirago chittas sarago uh, ayan vichiti abhijja uh, whatever craving extremely huge craving and uh, friendliness towards the object and compliance uh, delight in delight full somebody if, if if buddha says rago some group understand if buddha says sarago some group understand the other group cannot understand anunayo they can understand this is the uh, extremely huge uh, craving so in that way therefore buddha mentioned many different many different uh, words but same meaning and uh, that that is what's called vevachana i told uh, before so and then uh that is the uh, and then i am which the abhijja tatta katamang do manasang what is what is do manasang bearing what is do manasang bearing and yang chetasikam asatam chetasikam dukham chetaso cheto sampasaja asata dukha vedana i am which the do manasang what is and then uh, in the in the in then say iti ayancha abhijja idancha domanasam imam bhimi loke vinita honti pativinita santa samita rupa samita attangata abbatta abbattangata appitta vyappita sosita visosita danti kata tenu bucchati vinaya loke abhijja domanasam that mean uh, so this grief is overcome in the in the body world uh, they, uh, they are uh, this uh, grief and uh, yeah this grief uh, was tamed disappeared dried up and comes to the end comes to the end mean byanti kata uh, sosita visosita mean dried dried up appita byapita mean also uh, have gone like that in this way you want to take the meaning here <clears throat> and then eva me eva mete sang padanang atto butto you you need to go to that thing eva metang eva eva mete sang uh, eva mete sang padanang atto butto that mean in this way eva mete sang it said the meaning of the words padanang atto padanang atto mean meaning of the words is said <coughs> it is said the meaning of the word tena saha ayang attakata nayo yatha sansaddati evam veritabbo tena sahamin uh, with the uh, whatever in whatever way vibhanga vibhanga gives the meaning in whatever way with the vibhanga 
Tena Sahaming with the Vibang. That means whatever way Vibang gives the meaning for, for the words Ayam Attakata Nayo and the meaning in the Mahasatipatan Sutta Attakata Nayo pattern Yatha San Sandati that pattern uh, run run together or they agree with each other they agree with each other uh evam vedi tabbo accordingly accordingly thus it should be understood uh ayam tava kayanu pasana sati pattanu desas atha vannana the description of uddes tava tava mean up to foundation of mindfulness in related to the contemplation of the body as a body now uh, this athavanana description <clears throat> this is the description that means it's finished now the uh, introduction is finished and then idani vedanas now we discuss this thing uh, kai, uh, sorry kaya nupasana many days so uh, keep in mind this is very important to practice and then idani vedanasu chitte dhammesu like thing right idani vedanasu chitte dhammesu dhammanu pasi vihrati pe vinay loke abhijja domana santi you know now the idani now the vedanasu chitte dhammesu that means the rest of three contemplations you know this is the, they uh, are explained now uh, <clears throat> you know how it goes vedan dhamme su dhamma nupasi vihrati ved vihrati atapi sampajano satima vinay loke abhijja domana sang like that vedana su vedana nupasi vihrati atapi sampajano satima vinay loke abhijja domana si domana santi like that no so that means monk uh, abides uh, contemplating feeling as a feeling uh, mind as mind Dhamma object as Dhamma objects, uh, having overcome the covetousness and grief in the feeling feeling world, in mind world, and in the Dhamma uh, object world, so on it goes. And then, Vedana su Vedana nu pasiti evama su Vedana dinam puna vachane payojanam kaya nu pasna. Yang Buddha Naya Buddha Naya Neva Vedi Tabang. That means uh, you know in the Buddha in the Kaya Nupasana also Kaya Kaya Nupasi. Uh, so the, this Kaya word has mentioned twice. In the same way Vedana su Vedana Nupasi. Vedana also uh, Buddha mentioned twice. Twice Vedana su Vedana Nupasi. Like uh, Chitte Chitta Nupasi again twice. And Dhamme Dhamma Nupasi, Dhamme Su Dhamma Nupasi. That means again Buddha mentioned twice Dhamma as Dhamma. So why we discuss this thing in the Kaya Nupasana very deeply? That means the first thing is not to uh, not to mix, not to in order not to mix with the other Anupasana. For example, if you say Chitte Chitta Nupasana, that means only Chitta Nupasana. You you can see the mind on the uh, mind on the Mind movement. Okay, Mr. Rich, uh, can. Uh, sorry, Ma, you again cut Bantaji. Uh, what did you say? Anybody? You can. Uh, now I can hear you. Uh, uh, right, right. You lost the lost somewhere. Yeah, yes. The, uh, I think you were asking you were, me something. You were not audible somewhere. Yeah, you were asking me something, and that's where we I lost. Uh, oh. Sorry, again, I think we lost you. Uh, did you want me to go to another Sutta, Bhanteji? Uh, 
Ya, uh, uh, you were uh, unable. Uh, okay, any 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 parts you were uh, not audible? Um, I think you were asking me to do something, but that's when I uh, ah right right right. The picture I posted you the picture. Yes. Okay. Now, can you hear me? Yes, Bhantaji. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. Now, uh, I just did. Uh, be uh, okay here now how you want to practice in this meditation this is actually uh, in <coughs> while practicing nama parichayada jnana nama parichayada jnana mean what is nama parichayada jnana definition of the uh, mentality uh, mentality definition knowledge is what is called nama parichayada jnana so you can uh, can you hear can you see m m plus f o b o b mean the object can you see that yes Bhantaji. okay uh, uh, OB, uh, so you see when you practice uh, um, mentality me mentality definition knowledge and not on, not even mentality definition knowledge when you practice jahana also you can see your mind you can see your mind in this way and uh, in the Suddha, so then uh, for the Jahanic people while practicing Jhana and Suddha Vipassaka people or the Suddha Vipassaka meditator, he can see his mind uh, when he reached to the Upachara concentration by practicing the four element meditation. So he can see in this way, the, the his mind and the mental factor. M, M plus F mean mind plus the mental factors are the uh, the brilliant thing, right? Mind and the mental fac factors are the brilliant thing. So you have in the middle, you have object. In the middle, you have object mean mind and the mental factors are bent towards the object and surround the object. You, you can see in this way while practicing the Namarupa uh, Parichedhyana onwards. When, when you practice in this way, you can, you can see your mind your meditation mind and you know the the uh, so this mind in in the in the five aggregate worlds you know mind depends on the rupa or the mind yeah mind depends on the uh, depends upon on the rupa so, so in the meditation mind is in the heart so therefore that is the heart base heart base heart mean inside the heart you have heart base Heart base means heart materiality. That is ultimate materiality, not the muscular heart, right? Inside the muscular heart, you have heart base. Heart base means heart materiality. That is that is in the in the ten types of uh, uh, rupa kalapa. That, that is within the ten types ten types of rupa kalapa. What is called hade dasaka kalapa. So you have hade dasaka kalapa inside your heart. So these hade dasaka kalapa you have. Uh, 10 types of ultimate materiality. What are they? Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo, Vanna, Gandha, Rasa, Oja, Jivitindri, or the life faculty, and Hadevatu Rupa. That is the heart base. That is the heart base. So, on this Rupa Kalapa, heart base, uh, you see this Rupa Kalapa means the, uh, the minute particles. This, these minute particles are the Rupa Kalapa. So, uh, you can see in uh, while you are practicing these minute particles, uh, more uh, more small than this more small than this uh, i just uh, create this thing to uh, clear you and then uh, uh, hard base mean you know now hade dasaka kalapa which include hade 
Thus, Hadeva Turupa, that is what is called heart base or the heart materiality. So on the heart materiality, only mind, mind uh, depends, mind depends upon. So you have multiple uncountable heart base, heart base materiality in the heart, in the heart. So therefore, uh, this, this is the heart base uh, Rupa Kalapa. Heart base Rupa Kalapa means Hade Dasaga Kalapa or we can say Heart Deck. Decad Kalapa, hard decad Kalapa. So they, they uh, in this decade Kalapa, hard decade Kalapa. So they, uh, this is the, uh, okay, now let's see. Now what is Vedana? So you cannot see uh, the, uh, you know, you, you just uh, imagine these uh, men, mind and the mental factor always arise, always pressure away, but uh, it bends towards the object and it arises uh, and bends toward the object and disappear and again arise again disappear again arise again disappear in this way mind and the mental factors act and then you have rupa kalapa rupa kalapa also uh, arise as soon as they arise perish away or passing away so uh, in this way you can see your mind and the mental factors in the heart base while practicing uh, the nama rupa parichedanyana and Pache Parigahanyana, as well as everything upwards, <clears throat> up to Vipassana, up to Vipassana. And then you, you can see now what is Vedana. This, this is the, this is your, um, uh, uh, let's say this is your meditation mind. This is your meditation mind. So what is Vedana here? Now Vedana, uh, you can see while practicing, you can see Vedana arise. Uh, because Vedana has a uh, special unique feature uh, bec uh, th uh, that you need to know that uh, what is the feature that is what is called um, uh, it has the pleasurable feature it, uh, the, you can see that is it portabanu bahana lakana Pali says it portabanu bahana lakana that means uh, the pleasurable um, it potabano bavana lakana. Yeah, it's pleasurable. It's pleasurable. The, this uh, Vedana is pleasurable. Oh, uh, that, that is Sukha Vedana, right? Sukha Vedana. Dukha Vedana is Anitta potabano bavana lakana. So then again, anyway, uh, you can see your mind and the mental factor. And now you can, you, uh, but uh, you, you have now mind plus mental factors mean 33 mental factors. But out of these 33 mental factors, Buddha in the Satipatthana Sutta, Buddha mentioned Atapi, that means Virya, Sampajan, Sampajano, that means what is the Panya or the wisdom faculty, and the Satima, that is the mindfulness. So uh, not only mindfulness, you have Vedana also, right? Vedana also. Vedana, Vedana, uh, uh, Vedana arise and perish away that bends towards the object and it uh, experience the object and disappear right and disappear in this way you can you can see your vedana so in the mind movement in the mind movement only you can see the vedana so not in the body right you you need to know this thing if you see the vedana in the body in the vipassana your vipassana is the fake vipassana so therefore <clears throat> you need to uh, you need to see the the mind you must see the mind in this way in this way whatever way you can see right whatever way you can see Sometimes you can you your mind if if the mind is very uh, very bright. For example, your mind is uh, you are you are maintaining mindfulness towards the object, and you you know the, now mind uh, object is in the middle and the mind is around mind is surrounding the object. So you can see your object and uh, uh, mind and the mental factors all mental factors uh, bend towards the object. And uh, whenever your mindfulness goes up and concentration goes up, your mind is very bright. That means it, it may appear like silver thing, silver color like, but mind has no color, right? And uh, this Rupa Kalapa color uh, metaphorically comes to the mind, right? Metaphorically comes to the mind, mean mind is no color, mind has no color. So, but you, you know, mind produce Rupa Kalapa. Uh, mind, you know, now you have object, uh, from the object side, mind produce uh, uncountable rupa kalapa. Mind can produce uncountable rupa kalapa from, from the object surface, not from the base surface, right? Uh, mind can, you can see that also. 
మైండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ కంటిన్యూస్లీ మైండ్ ప్రొడ్యూస్ అన్కౌంటబుల్ మైండ్ బోన్ రూపకలాప సో యూ కెన్ సీ దట్ ఆల్సో అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ అనదర్ థింగ్ ఐ ఐ టోల్ యూ అండ్ దట్ మీన్ వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ యువర్ మైండ్ ఫుల్నెస్ గోస్ అప్ అండ్ కన్సన్ట్రేషన్ గోస్ అప్ యువర్ మైండ్ ఈస్ వెరీ బ్రైట్ దాన్ దిస్ right then this your mind is very bright it it may be uh, it may feel like uh, yeah you may feel the mind like then what's a pitch black bright thing so uh, oh such type of thing in this way you want to understand so then in the vedana anupasana you need to focus only vedana so you have another mental factors also here you don't need to uh buddha mention virya here you don't need to focus virya um, uh, buddha mention the uh, panya here no need to uh, focus panya and no need to focus sati no need to focus saddha no need to focus other mental factors for example pass and sanya you have me, uh, th- another 30 th- 30 uh, 33 mental factors 30 th- 32 uh, mental factors except the vedana so those mental factors you you are seeing you are seeing those mental factors and your mind meditation mind but you you only focus your vedana on this so therefore buddha buddha called this is vedana anupassana so you, ఫర్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్స్ట్
so uh, that means except the uh, feeling or the vedana and the mind other all chetasika are included for the dhammanu pasana so in this way uh, in this way is the meditation which leads to the nibbana which conduct you to the nibbana uh, not the fake meditation anyhow leads to the nibbana so you need to know this thing very clearly so therefore that's why i told you i highly recommended uh, i highly recommend uh, that you want to uh, work one on one with a good teacher otherwise you are in uh, you are going haphazardly to the uh, all meditations that, that 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 is not good for your life and to the next life also and now now we let's go to the uh, atakata again hmm? atakata again so but, then yeah but the among 33 so for the one i am focusing this requires a high concentration no yes it it require very high concentration that mean that is the upachara concentration up to jhana concentration can understand uh, okay. yeah uh, good eh like venerable maharanta uh, sariputta was expert in this but he was from panya side no and mahamogal venerable was from uh, concentration side but yeah uh, he has sariputta was expert to see only one dhamma among 15 or 16 dhamma among Among sixteen dhamma, only one dhamma Sariputta venerable can pick up easily. So Mahapanyo, Mahapandito, like that, no? Yeah, uh, that's one example. That's classic example for this meditation. For example, you know, it is in uh, Anupad Dhamma Sutta. It is in Madhyamni Kaya. Uh, maybe she knows that thing good, right? But uh, anyway, Madhyamni Kaya, you have my question. Uh, my महाराज but uh, uh, be, before panya he he want to attain good uh, good concentration so that's the reason right he want to attain good concentration that mean his jhana concentration he has jhana he had had jhana so therefore uh, uh, to uh, to be a panya agga you need to practice jhana or the upachara concentration first is basically concentration is the root of everything no Yes, yes. Concentration is must. That is the uh, mandatory. That's the mandatory. You yes. you need to understand in this way. Good, good. Okay. And then let's go to idani vedana su chitte dhamma dhamme su dhamma nu pasi so on. We discuss no. Uh, uh, and then eva madhi su vedana di nang puna vachane. Go to the maybe second uh, line, right? Second line. Eva madhi su भोग compactness of the vedana you need to uh, you need to uh, com- we need to break down your compactness for the vedana so how to break down first you need to see the vedana in the mind movement otherwise you cannot got it and then therefore uh, you need to for example if if you see your vedana is uh, permanent thing <clears throat> if you see your vedana is permanent thing Uh, but uh, if you you see but uh, when you you see mean you may understand that uh, uh, without practicing vedana is continuous but vedana is not continuous you can understand you can see vedana in your mind movement and then only you can understand vedana this vedana arise and always it perish away in that way 
वेदना तो वेदना न पसे चित्ते चित्ता न वैरी तब्बांग एंड देन वेदना सु वेदना न पसे चित्ते चित्ता न पसे दम्मे सु दम्मा न पसे ती ऐतपन वेदना ती दिशो वेदना नाउ नाउ इन दिस ए दैट मीन इन रिलेटेड तू द वेदना न पसना एंड एक्चुअली या इन रिलेटेड तू द वेदना न पसना वेदना ती तिसो वेदना नाउ देर आर थ्री फीलिंग्स तिसो वेदना में थ्री फीलिंग्स व्हाट इज दैट तिसो वेदना ताच लोकिया ताच लोकिया एव दैट फीलिंग इज एक्चुअली द द तिसो वेदना में यू नो तिसो वेदना इज यू नो तिसो वेदना आई विल टेल तिसो वेदना में सुख वेदना ओ द प्लेसेंट फुल फीलिंग ओ द अदर वन इज द दुख वेदना ओ द अनप्लेसेंट फीलिंग एंड देन यू हैव यू हैव अदुखम सुख वेदना दैट मीन द द फीलिंग पेनफुल नीदर पेनफुल नो प्लेसेंट दैट इज द अदुखम सुख वेदना बेसिकली थ्री वेदना बट वी हैव 108 वेदना बुद्ध मेंशन इन समसुत 108 वेदना But here this so Vedana basically, Tacha Lokya Eva. Actually, this Vedana is very mundane. Lokya Eva, uh, it's very mundane. Chittam pi Lokyam, Chittam pi Lokyam. Uh, mind is also mundane. Tatha Dhamma, Dhamma also mundane. Dhamma, Dhamma objects also mundane. Mundane mean here why mundane? Because the, the uh, if you if you didn't uh, transcend the this nama rupa field and then this is still the the uh, lokiya state that means this is the pupa bhaga patipada as we discussed in the in previously okay and then tesam vibhago nidesa varo pakato bhavisati tesam vibhago mean their explanation pakato bhavisati will clear uh, to you in nidesa varo nidesa varo तेसम विभागो निदेश वारे पाकटा होंते इंद्र निदेश वारा इट विल बी क्लियर फॉर यू केवल हम पाने इधर या था वेदना अनुपस्थित बा तथा ता अनुपस्थंतो वेदना सु वेदना अनुपस्थिति वेदी तका आई मीन हीरिंग हीरिंग मीन इंडिस महासत्पाटा अनुसूत्र ओ इंदी इंद वेदना सु वेदना नुपस्थित सेक्शन केवलं मियली यथा वेद इन दैट फीलिंग इज दैट मींस यू हैव सुख वेदना ओ द प्रसन्न फीलिंग ऑन एंड यू हैव पेनफुल फीलिंग एंड यू हैव um other neither painful no uh, pleasant feeling so the uh, these all vedana you can see uh, uh, as you as if you are seen by the eye uh, i just show you no in this way you can see and uh, whatever the way then you can see the uh, the way you can see the sukha vedana in that way you will need to contemplate that is the meaning anup yatha kevalam pana idha yatha vedana vedana anupasita ba तथा ता अनुपस्थंतो सो दैट इज़ द वेदना सु वेदना अनुपस्थिति मीनी सो इफ यू हैव पेनफुल फीलिंग इन योर माइंड मोमेंट नॉट इन द बॉडी इफ यू माइंडफुल इफ यू हैव पेनफुल फीलिंग दैट मीन यू नीड टू कंटेम्प्लेट यू हैव पेनफुल फीलिंग एंड दिस इज़ वेरी ग्रास टू यू राइट इन द माइंड मोमेंट यू कैन सी इट्स व in to your mind but to adukkama sukha vedana you cannot find out adukkama sukha vedana grass feeling or um, painful uh, thing or uh, yeah in this way right so then uh, here in merely in whatever way the feeling is in that in that way it should be contemplated as anicca dukkha anatta so on because here no asubha वेदना इज नॉट नॉट कंटेम्प्लेटेड एस आसुबर सो द कंटेम्प्लेशन इन द फीलिंग एज इट इज यू यथा एज इट इज हाउ एज इट इज मीन हाउ वे
वेदना can understand whatever way you in your mind movement you can see your vedana in the mind movement in that way you want to contemplate is them as anicca it as anicca dukkha anatta that is the vedana su vedana nu pasini uh, uh, then it says esa nayo chitta dhamme supi uh, for the uh, this method is common for chitta chitta anupassana and dhamma anupassana also so that that is the meaning here but i explained this you you need to focus chitta only chitta in your mind or the consciousness only and then you can uh, you can see it's arising and perishing away or the passing away and then you can contemplate them as anicca dukkha anatta in the same way the dhamma object also and kathancha vedana anupasthita bhati uh, <clears throat> now so uh, how should feeling be contemplated how should feeling be contemplated sukha tava vedana dukha to tava tava mean uh, in whatever extent sukha vedana whatever extent sukha vedana mean uh, so pleasurable feeling uh, pleasurable feeling uh, is one whatever extent you have uh, it it you want to contemplate as as dukkha or the painful this is the buddha teaching right but, uh, the present feeling should be contemplated as suffering or oppressing why because they are actually suffering it is not the not it is not the uh, sukha vedana uh, because why you know now sukha vedana arises and perishing away so then in the arising phase only you have sukha vedana after perishing you don't have sukha vedana can understand in this way you want to take the meaning and dukkha to dukkha salla to painful feeling should be contemplated as a dart salla mean dart or we can say again the the fear fear a p uh, yeah sometimes a spike s p i k e uh, dart mean you know d a r t dart that mean uh, some pointed uh and the web, weapon yeah eh pointed yeah. weapon yes pointed weapon adukkama sukha anicchato adukkama sukha neither painful or no pleasant feeling should be contemplated as impermanent because why uh, it is non matter it is non matter non dependent like that no because you know in the sukha vedana you uh, you have Uh, some mastery and dukkha vedana also you have some mastery now here you have you don't have mastery so therefore buddha say it as anicca i mean it contemplate as anicca actually you don't forget uh, sukha vedana also anicca dukkha vedana also anicca and adukkha sukha vedana also anicca but do, bu, this is buddha's one type of means uh, the, the dhamma talk right yata ah yata mean accordingly ah mean uh, said by the buddha यो सुख सुखं दुखतो अद दुखम दुख दुख मदक्खि सल्लतो अदुखम सुखं संतं अदक्खि तं अनिच्छतो तवे सम दसो बिखु उपसंतो चरेस सीति व्हाट इज द मीनिंग यो सुखं दुखतो अद अद मीन ही सोस ओ द बिखु or oh, one who saw the pleasure feeling uh, yo mean one uh, one uh, sukham dukkha to add add mean he saw yo yo add sukham dukkha to in this in this way you want to take the meaning so then one who saw the pleasure feeling as suffering sukham dukkha to <coughs> and dukkham uh, uh, adakki sallato dukkha madakini dukkha adakki sallato adakki that mean uh, he he saw the painful feeling as a dart and adukkama sukham santam because why adukkama sukham santam 
you don't have any uh, any gross feature of the adukkama sukha vedana so therefore buddha said adukkama sukha is santang so he saw the neutral feeling as impermanent uh, uh, impermanent or uh, santang mean adakki nam anichato santang means peaceful adukkama he saw the uh, adukkama sukha feeling or the imp- uh, the neither painful or uh, neither painful no pleasant mean the neutral neutral feeling as peaceful adakki nan anichato again uh, he so he so the neutral feeling as impermanent and then save samma daso biku upasanto charitasi they mean indeed <coughs> so mean he so so becomes so in this stanza so so sammadaso bhikkhu sammadaso mean you know sammadaso mean samma prasannako samma prasannako mean the one who correctly seen correctly knows correctly understand correctly discern the mentality and materiality so this uh, the, <coughs> that is what called sammadaso so so sammadaso bhikkhu so then the the bhikkhu correctly seen correctly seen uh, sorry correctly see samma daso bhikkhu upasanto charitasi and charitasi means he will go his way upasanto calmly he will go his way calmly so uh, this is the meaning this is in sanitanikaya uh, if you want if you want to uh, see this please go this is the dattabha sutta right dattabha sutta okay then <coughs> let's go to the another section another para sabba eva vedana dukkha tipi ani anupasti sabba 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 eva vedana all go to uh, uh, what some commentary says according uh, uh, for the this feeling can we go to the um, this is the tika bhante ji aya tika yo sukham dukkha to adda adati like like the yo sukan dukkha to addati i am on the anupasthiti eta ethati uh, that paragraph uh, from the beginning yo sukan dukkha to addati okay uh, here it is ो so that means one who sees the uh, sub commentary it says in this way one who sees the pleasure feeling as suffering means yo sukham dukkha to adakati one who sees with the wisdom eye that uh, pleasure or the, uh, the the pleasant feeling are suffering that is because of the changing nature viparinama dukkha ta that, that is because of the changing nature because uh, that uh, vedana become for example if you have sukha vedana but uh, uh, only if it is in the uh, uh, standing phase only then uh, thereafter in the perishing phase thereafter you may not have that sukha vedana so therefore you need to understand you can understand this is this sukha vedana i am contemplating as dukha vedana like this is the meaning the uh, because because as soon as they arise they they pass away <clears throat> i mentioned this thing before so so 
so big, uh, by, by this rapid rising and pressing away uh, uh, in the Sukhavetana also uh, to the meditator it it feels some growth it feels some somewhat growth not so growth but Dukkavetana you feel you see uh, uh, it's really growth okay and then one who sees the painful feeling and then uh, uh, do, uh, then sukha dukkha topi chati then then dukkha tipi sankara dukkha taya dukkha uh, no 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 uh, dukkha adakki salla topi dukkha adakki salla to one who sees the painful feeling as a dark means dukkha vedana tilana janato because because why they produce trouble tilana they produce the pain that's the thing that, that means to the meditator it, it uh, in the meditator it beca uh, it it can be seen as a as a gross uh, movement right g g g in the in the mind movement you can see it as a gross thing so and then uh, and then adukkama sukha adukkama sukanti upekha vedana uh, what is adukkama sukha that is the upekha vedana upekha vedana means uh, neither painful nor non feeling or the neutral pain Santanti Sukha Dukkha Tiriya Anolarika Thaya Pachyeva Sena Rupa Santa Bahavaya Cha Santan. Santan means, what is the Santan mean here? So you need to contemplate neutral feeling, uh, should be contemplated as impermanence because it's, uh, uh, it, it's uh, Anolarika Thaya. Anolarika means it's non gross uh, <clears throat> It's non gross or non cause that's the meaning here uh, and then uh, santanti sukham and then pachya vasena vupasanna bhava vupasanna sabhavataya cha santan that means it's calm it's very calm so therefore it is what's going in this way uh, actually uh, i told all type of pain are impermanent but uh, here not only adukkam sukha vedana anichatoti Hutva abhavato. Hutva abhavato means it arise. Hutva means it arise. Abhavato means perish away. So therefore, uh, that's the meaning here. So anichato means uh, that's the meaning. And then uh, again we move to the Atatata, right? Atatata. Atatata. Uh, and then it says in this way. Uttam hi etam. Uttam hi etam means. <coughs> Uttam hi etam means uh, the, uh, the Buddha. Uh, this has been said by the Buddha. Uttam hi etam. Uh, Yankin chi veda itam tam dukkas minti vadami. Yankin chi veda itam tam dukkas minti vadami. That is in Sainta Nikaya. Uh, the, what is the. Maybe. Uh, that is the Rahogata Sutta, right? Santani Kaya, Rahogata Sutta. Uh, what is felt, that means Yankin Chiveditam, what, whatever is felt, Tan Dukkas Minti Vadami, is suffering. I said, I, I, I'm, I'm telling Buddha said in this day, whatever the feeling or what, whatever is felt is suffering. I, I, I'm, say, I'm saying in this day, and then actually here you know in one bhikkhu as in this way in this sutta if you if you if you see this sutta in one bhikkhu as in this way ima uh, ima tiso vedana vutta bhagavata uh, what is that meaning there are three feelings mentioned by the bhagava and vuttam vuttam kopana uh, etam bhagavata yankinchi vedaitam tang dukkasminti uh, then then he he questioned uh, in this way, whatever whatever is felt in felt is suffering, which is certainly said by the Bhagava. Then uh, he has from the Buddha. Why, why, uh, Buddha, you you uh, you preach in this way? Then Bhagava said in this way, Tanko pana uh, ya yeah, Tanko pane tam bhikkhu maya sankara nangyeva anicchatan sandhaye bahasitam. Because I said this thing 
because I monk, uh, it is said by me because it based on the impermanence phenomena, impermanence, impermanence nature, impermanence nature of the formation. Sankara gave sandhaya uttam. So therefore, because of, because why Buddha said yankinchi uh, veditang whatever is felt tan dukkha sminti vadami. I say I say I tell it is it is as dukkha. Uh, sukha dukkha to pitcha anupasi tabba and then again sukha sukha dukkha dukkha to pitcha anupasi tabba then then sukha vedana dukkha vedana uh, as dukkha vedana you should contemplate and yataah sukha vedana titi sukha viparinam dukkha and this is in majjhimnika this is the chula vedala sutta accordingly uh, yataah yata mean accordingly ah mean is said in the in the Majjhimnikaya, uh, Chula Vedala Sutta, this is in Majjhimnikaya 1, uh, one maybe Chula, um, Chula Yamaka Vagga, right? Chula Yamaka Vagga. Uh, so, uh, then uh, it says in this way, Sukha Vedana, uh, actually here we, we want to say in this way, Sukha Vedana ko auso visaka, Sukha Vedana ko auso visaka stiti sukha, viparinam dukkha. Uh, to uh, viparinama dukkha that, that is what is the meaning here uh, uh, friend visaka you know this is the uh, um, arahant theory dhammadinna arahant theory dhammadinna uh, uh, his former her former uh, husband is the visaka so visaka goes to see the dhammadinna and they uh, visaka ask question so uh, to the uh, the one question he asked about the vedana and she uh, this arahan theory given given the uh, exam uh, given the answer in this way sukha vedana titi sukha viparinama dukkha that means sukha sukha vedana stiti it is sukha that means what is the meaning friend visaka pleasant feeling is pleasurable uh, while it stands that means in the standing phase and it is displeasurable when it changes, uh, viparinama dukkha, viparinama dukkha, when it changes, it is uh, it is displeasurable. And then again, say in, in this sutta, dukkha vedana titi sukha, titi dukkha, dukkha vedana titi dukkha, viparinama sukha. That means painful feeling is displeasurable while it stands only and it is uh, yeah it is pleasurable when it changes changes when it, it become breakdown and then adukkama sukha vedana jnana sukha anjana dukkha that means what is the meaning neutral feeling is uh, uh, pleasurable when its uh, existence is known and it is displeasurable when when it is not known that's the meaning here. And then, uh, sabbang vittare tabbang. Sabbang vittare tabbang. That means, I, I explain up to that. Sabbang vittare tabbang means all should be uh, uh, expanded. All should be expanded. Apicha anicca senapi anupasi tabba. We want to finish this up to this, right? Sesang nidde sabare yeva pakata bhavisati. You know, uh, the further feeling also uh, be contemplated according to the satta anupassana. You know, we discuss about seven anupassana, starting from the anicca anupassana, dukkha anupassana. Anicca anupassana means meditator uh, must contemplate the feeling as anicca because it is it is it has anicca nature. It arises and perishes away. So therefore, anicca anupassana, and then dukkha anupassana. As suffering, as suffering, you need to contemplate. And then anattanu passana. You, you know, you know, this is non-self. So therefore, anattanu passana. Sattanu passana was a picture. Anichadi sattanu passana was in a piano passitabba. So then again, nibidanu passana. When the meditator sees the impermanent, uh, impermanent phenom uh, phenomena, then the uh, suffering phenomena and the non-self phenomena by the vipassana knowledge. Gradually, his uh, insight become mature. Uh, then only he, he his mind develop uh, to the detached, uh, 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 no, uh, descent enchantment. That is the nibbida, disenchantment. So therefore, that is the nibbida nu pasana. If the 
uh, one who practice in this way as anichadu kanatha uh, uh, this is temporary he he has no attachment to the objects that mean the vedana and that is the viragana upasana and then you have nirodhana upasana nirodhana upasana mean if you practice uh, this meditation as anichadu kanatha then you 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 detach yeah, yeah you need to cease the feeling you need to cease the feeling object you need to uh, uh, yeah you don't need to generate <coughs> originate or and then you have pati nisagana upasana while practicing uh, the feeling as anichadu kanatha and then you you have uh, given you want to give up the uh you want to give give up you need you need to give up the object and not to take it up right so this is the uh, viragana pasana so uh sesan nidesa vare eva pakatam bhavisati sesan nidesa vare eva pakatam bhavisati that mean the rest of the re rest of all regarding the vedana pasana will be uh, clear or will be obvious to the to you in the nidesa vara so this is the this is the meaning here so then we uh, we just uh, only one para ha, uh, we ha, uh, we have to the next session and uh, we can start anapana also in the next session or we can uh, discuss the other thing okay and uh, any question maybe 5 minutes pante ji uh, yeah so uh in the goenka uh, uh, guruji's vipassana teaching when yes. when they observe the body and uh, many other times they say that uh, at at particular time the suddenly they get the feeling of body sort of dissolving or the sensation spreading throughout the body then what uh, i guess how do we see that in the context of the true teachings like what is that experience that they might be saying something else but what is that experience in this context yeah uh, i will explain in this way for example in the kaya nupasana we 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 just see you know kaya na vedana nupasi that's very important kaya ved no kaya na vedana nupasi mean you don't have vedana in the body in the body you don't have vedana why in the body body made up of rupa kalap only the minute particles only you don't have mind movement in the body can understand uh, but but in uh, uh, what what want to understand that mean they they understand these as these are the uh, four element meditations objects you no know? for example hardness roughness uh, heatness coldness and flowing cohesion and all are Uh, for example another thing also softness lightness also or even uh, pushing and supporting character all are four element meditations uh, objects so these object they they consider as vedana so uh, the now the um, you have materiality so materiality you no know, these are the materiality characteristic of the materiality so materiality taken as a vedana so uh, we need to con uh, we need to according to the buddha's teaching buddha never tested in this say you no know, the materiality is materiality for the buddha materiality is materiality for the buddha uh, and the dhamma object is dhamma object to the buddha and the mind is so without, mind to the buddha sorry so without uh, without realizing they are basically doing the four elements meditation uh, yeah they no even four element meditation also they are not uh, not growing because why you know four element meditation also not growing mean four element meditation no. want to uh, yeah the another way the way is different four element meditation i told you know four element meditation also four different. element But, will go up to upchara bhante yes yes four But, element yeah. will go yeah four element meditation will go to upachara concentration and here actually uh, they end up with the preliminary concentration only so this preliminary concentration buddha i told no the uh, sankita sutta buddha prohibited to uh, uh, to stay uh, keep on the uh, concentration in the uh, preliminary concentration because preliminary concentration nothing can be done so uh, in the 
because I also did that meditation. So therefore, I am telling uh, this is the rush of feeling only. You maybe end up with feeling rush, right? But it is not the feeling. It is the uh, for object of the five element meditation. So therefore, uh, that is uh, anyway some something going on wrong. Hmm? Something going on wrong. Okay, Mr. Pra, uh, pra, uh, I cannot remember the name. Pratima, Pratima. Hmm? Uh, pr Pratima. Uh, 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 yes, okay, so Vandami Vandaji. Uh, okay, I have one question, Vandaji. I yeah. uh, do vipassana meditation, yeah. and uh, I, I I can I get to. Uh, I can see small particles changing continuously, body changing mm -hmm. continuously with a very great high speed. Yeah. Uh, there is no, uh, uh, there is no, uh, uh, you cannot stop the uh, speed. It's changing yeah. very, uh, yeah. So that level, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I I can remove all my pains and I, I, I experience uh, anitya at the, body level mm -hmm. uh, so really? and it's it's giving me purity also and all my body pains i can remove whenever uh -huh. i sit for vipassana and i have some uh with that anitta feeling uh, mm -hmm. so i think it's very beneficial and along with that i uh, practice uh, brahma vihara uh, brahma mm -hmm. vihara means i am i always keep uh, smiling and mm -hmm. I keep that, uh, uh, you know, uh, blessings uh, or uh, loving kindness for everyone. When I go on the road, I feel automatically feel, you know, loving kindness for everyone. Mm -hmm. And I always uh, radiate metta whenever mm -hmm. I am, uh, I'm the principal in the college. So I sit for a meeting. So I first mm -hmm. radiate metta and then I start the meeting. So my life is going very well. I am always in a happy mood. Hmm. And I feel I feel very content. So yeah. uh, so vipassana is giving me lots of benefits. It's giving actually. Uh, is that the vipassana? Fine. Is that the vipassana? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I follow vipassana. <laughs> right <laughs> now we discuss uh, which meditation you do uh, before that. Uh, is meditation. Huh? Kaji is meditation, ah, and okay. I. Yeah, and uh, this Brahma Vihara, I, you know, uh, follow uh, Vimal Ra Bante Vimal Ramsey's uh, uh, instructions. Okay. Just keep yeah. smiling, uh, that feeling. Always, you know, yeah. you have loving kindness. That mm -hmm. you carry that feeling. Yeah, so actually, it's now I'm... automatically. It's become it. It becomes a nature now. Mm. Good. Uh, I am very happy about you, uh, uh, Brahma Vihara meditation. <clears throat> but uh, to the vipassana, when you do like that, but it is not conduct you to the nibbana. No, if you feel some someone something uh, good, but uh, uh, any meditation if it is not conduct to the nibbana. So why? What is the meaning of practicing that? But you need to hear, want to know that now. After now, I discussed how to attain the how to attain the magapala. How to uh, how how we want to see the mind movement? How we want to see the rupa? And how we want to analyze rupa? If you see the uh, small particles, that is not that is also samuti sacha. Samuti sacha means that is the uh, conventional truth because you didn't uh, analyze. No, uh, pra, yeah. pra, 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 yeah. I, pra, I, I, I yeah. cannot yeah. analyze only because because of the great speed. Yeah. It's changing with a great yeah. speed. So uh, for me, it's and difficult thing. to analyze. Yeah, and the thing, the again, I want to tell, uh, when you when you practice uh, uh, such type of meditation, and uh, uh, you cannot reach to the upachara concentration because why you did not did not take the uh, four element object. No, you just uh, you just. Uh, uh, contemplate whatever arising in the body and what whatever perishing away of the body. So this is not yeah, the vipassana. An, an right? Yeah, yes. th not that is that not that is anicca bhava also. There is not the vipassana, right? There is oh, not the vipassana yeah. also. We cannot say that yes. is vipassana according to the Buddha teaching. I am not. Uh, uh, I am not. Uh, 
telling uh, their, their vipassana, according to the Buddha's teaching, it is not the real vipassana. Real vipassana start with the sammasana jnana stage. Right? Sammasana jnana stage means you want to first practice nama rupa parichyada jnana and then pachya parika jnana and then you need to practice uh, lakkana di chatuk and then only you are uh, eligible to practice vipassana. Okay. Can I understand? Yeah, I understand yeah. this. Like, uh, yeah. But uh, Bhantiji, uh, yeah. I uh, sit for longer uh, longer hours also. Uh, Anapana meditation, I sit for three hours. Uh, so, uh -huh. yeah, with Anapana, uh, I feel that uh, sometimes I feel that joy, so whatever you told us in Brahma Vyaras, uh, mm -hmm. but I am not thorough with the uh, theory part. So okay. I would like to yeah. have your appointment separately and I would like to go through all the videos. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I, I think I will be able to talk to you. Yes, yes. You you, uh, you call me uh, to my uh, private mobile. Right? mobile. Yeah, uh, I am getting retired in 2024. Mm -hmm. So I am I plan to come to Sri Lanka to meet you. Ah, really? Mm -hmm. I'm coming to India. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> when when are you coming, Bhantiji? When are you uh, coming? 29th of this uh, next month. 29th of okay. next month, I'm coming. Uh, you you yeah. can meet me and uh, in India yes, also. Yes, definitely. You, 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 so you by that time, Tiranka. welcome, right? And the another mm -hmm. thing, uh, when you when you meditate uh, Anapana for three hours, did you see any? Yes. Meditation? Did you see any nimitta? No, I do not see any nimitta, but uh, I ah. feel very happy. Uh, then yeah. I can, uh, then I practice, I radiate uh, Upekha also. When ah, I, yes, in yes. the Vipassana, Actually, I radiate Upekha. Yeah. But I think uh, uh, you want to go slowly, not uh, doing every meditation, right? Not doing every meditation. You practice Anapana meditation only in these days. And when you attain okay. jhana, I will uh, I will train you uh, towards the vipassana. Okay. I have experienced that phase. Uh, no body at all. Uh, yeah, but the uh, these is... are the experience only. No, no but body I at all. Do not concentration. Do not that know. That means your concentration good, hmm? and yeah. the mindfulness good. But uh, here yeah. you have such type of ability. But uh, why you uh, why you are not uh, not use why on why you don't use this ability towards the nibbana that's the thing no you yeah, feel comfortability to, you feel the yeah, i want to and meet you... and take your guidance yeah, yeah, yeah. okay okay yes i i you but i you. i am now able to uh, share uh, all, in, all the time i am in loving kindness uh, good good and that smiling Even... uh, gives me yeah. mindfulness all the time ah, i am right. mindful what i am speaking what I am doing, okay, what everything, mm -hmm. my I, I keep mm -hmm. a watch on my mind. It's automatically that watch is automatically on my mind. So that mindfulness, uh, I am achieving slowly, slowly. Yeah. Today, good, though, throughout good. the day, I was mindful. Hmm. That means actually you can attain jhana very quickly. That means right? You can enter. Okay, get contact, get in touch with me. Uh, yeah, my thank number you, so much. you can take now. My number. You can take my number. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes, Pantiji. Okay. I'll take your number. I'll I'll seek your guidance, Pantiji. Thank you so okay. very much. Sure, sure. After Nibbana, I will guide you. Hmm? No problem at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So then, let's finish. No. Ah. Uh, uh, before that, thank you, Mr. Nilesh. Uh, you uh, spend your early morning no here in in you uh texas Until you are coming to uh, india please tell everybody that you are coming to india uh, uh sorry sorry uh, little you're coming, you're coming to india no when tell everybody yeah. that you are coming ah right right yes yes, yes. on the uh, on the group also Ah, right. Yes, yes, yes. The group members also don't know. No? Yeah, yeah, I will tell. Yeah, I will tell on next month. Okay, let's finish, no? Because otherwise, you, you are buried to all. Okay. Yeah. Idam me punyang asavakaya vangotu 
idam me punyang nibbana sapacheo hotu mama punyang bahagam sabbe satanam bhajimi te sabbe me samang punyang bahagam labantu sadu 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 okay so the hotu nibbana sapacheo hotu thank you mr nile okay thank you thank you so much pandaji okay hotu okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you, sister. Thank you so much, Nilesh. No problem. Pratima, ma'am. Hi, yeah, ma'am. Hi, yeah. Pratima, number three, ma'am. 